The other thing I've seen that's somewhat effective is everybody should have the right to move the question during the discussion, which would s to suspend all conversation until the vote on moving the question was d completed. Well, I, I have to say something on this because you know what we're talking about. Now you did it. What we're talking about are procedures. You've we? used up your minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which you haven't been established yet. No <laughs> crosstalk. We're talking about we're talking about, we're talking about the purpose of procedures. Okay, is to enable a committee or a body to come to a decision. All right, to enable the majority to have their will without oppressing the minority's speech. So there's always a balancing going on. All right, and that balance is what we vest the chair with. I have a problem when people just move the question in the middle of, of a discussion. All right, the chair, it's the chair's job, that's their primary function in my mind, is to, to put that critical balance. Am I giving the minority enough time to have their say while not denying the majority their right to have their will? I often that's the balance that has to be struck, and it's really the chair that has to make that decision. I'm going to let Richard speak, and then I'm going to comment on that. Moving the question only stops discussion. It does not immediately call for a vote, because that prevents one individual from shutting off the rest of the body. Mm -hmm. If somebody makes a motion to move the question, it has to be voted on by a two-thirds majority right. to move the yeah, question. Exactly. Right. It isn't just a matter well, of... No, one person it, doesn't say... You cannot discuss it any further. The group has to vote That's on right. the motion to move the That's question. Right. It's a two-thirds vote. To get a consensus. This is done in town meetings right. throughout the country constantly. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm suggesting that in your two-thirds rule, first of all, it's the chair and only the chair that calls for a vote. All right. There's nothing automatic about the vote taking place at if any particular moment in time. If somebody makes a motion to move the question and it is seconded, the then you only the chair can actually count the votes. So th only the chair can call for the vote. At least that's how I see it. And under this two-thirds rule that you're putting forth is what you're <coughs> saying is that the two-thirds majority can completely suppress a third of this body from ever speaking. That's that's simply a practical reality of that rule. Reality right. was that's exactly right. right. So you're saying is that one third of this body, as much as one third of this body, no, no, let me finish. As much as one third of this body can have their mouth sewn shut. And I want to remind you that every one of us, with the exception of the representatives, are elected. And when you sew up the mouth of a voter's, of an elected official, you're sewing up the mouth of the voter himself. And there should be a certain respect for minority views. And I would hold that even when I stand in the majority. Because, you know, even when the majority is right, they can be even more right often if they listen to the majority and find little nuances in which they can improve their position. So I really do not like suppression of minority views. I think it's exactly the wrong way to proceed. I think it's basically un-American. I don't care how many towns do it. It's not done. It's not done at the federal level. It's not done at the state house level either. Minorities are allowed a, a, you don't a have minimum point. portion of time. That's what I'm talking about, the balance. And that requires a judgment, and a judgment that should be done by the chair. I want to vest the chair with the power to say, we've exhausted this topic. And please, Madam Chair, I ask you to proclaim this topic exhausted and let this thing die. I was just about to do that. Thank you. Move on to the next Wait a minute. In fairness, before you went to that position, Michael had his hand up. I just have one point. Having been on this budget committee before, and been on the very short end of a vote many times, 15 to 14 to 1, 13 to 2. And if I happen to be the person at this end of the table and I'm last, I'll never get a chance to speak with that idea. Well, she rotates. And I might have some, I might accidentally have something important to say that might change the whole meeting. Well, I, we'll I, don't, the I don't disagree rotate the with any of you in your points that you brought through. I think what it comes down to is you know how the reality can play itself out. If when we start deliberating, you come to this room with the idea that all of us are equal parts mm -hmm. in this committee and we all have a common respect for one another and not only that, but for the positions that you were all elected as well as myself to serve and we put that first. 
all right, and find order amongst us in the meantime and not create a carnival that, it, that exists sometimes when it does get out of hand because you know what we don't serve any purpose when that happens none and to sit here and talk tonight like we're in our living room one to another we're going to get far more done than worrying about who's going to cross and who's getting everything out they want to say sometimes we don't all get out what we want to say sometimes we have to yield to somebody else I think as long and what my job is is to feel that yeah there's both sides to every subject every argument all right and it got to allow for everybody to get something they want to say out that's why going around the room and I shifted I'll start here on one subject and then I'll go start on the other side so we're not always starting with the same person but knowing yeah this is going to go around the table mm -hmm. and in fairness yield if you don't want to talk in that moment I'll come back to you so I just want to point out one uh -oh. small uh -huh. thing now last year, the chair silenced me more than anybody in this mm -hmm. case. And I even referred to her as muzzling me a couple of times, as I recall. Nobody else minded. If, 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 it, if, it were the, if it were the majority doing it by moving the question kind of thing, I would have had no one to appeal to. As it was, I talked to Eileen individually one-on-one. -on -one. Right? I could appeal to her for subsequent considerations in terms of what I was doing. If the majority has their will of moving this question, there's no one I can appeal it to for you know for subsequent understanding. Okay, and that's that's another critically important thing, because if you have a ruling against you that shuts you up and you have no means of appealing it, it's a terrible thing. A committee that's out of control is not going to succeed. This committee is not under control. No. We have a chairman that keeps it in control. Well, if you allow me to speak. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> yielded yet. <laughs> <laughs> you never have. <laughs> I, <have. laughs> I yielded to Richard last week. <laughs> I yielded the day or a few minutes ago. All right, All right I yield. Did I bring popcorn to this? <laughs> yeah. <Bob>. Moving the question. <laughs> and I wasn't going to go back to this till it was revisited. <laughs> In town meetings, a moderator will ask for a sense of the room as to whether the discussion is complete enough to allow for the question that places the responsibility with the chair in this instance mm -hmm. to say do you want to take a vote <laughs> to move the question this idea that people are being shut off is in fact not a reality because everyone gets to vote on whatever it is that is being voted upon and it's unlikely the chair would move a question where half of the people had not presented their input to that question if they wanted to. So I'd be perfectly comfortable with allowing the chair to decide when to So we're in a strong answer. agreement then. Great. So you're in favor of moving the question as long no, as No, I'm chair. in favor of the chair deciding, just as you suggested at the town meeting, the moderator decides whether or not he wants to ask the body to move the question or whether the moderator simply calls for okay. the vote. That is the way it's properly done. Yeah, it's I'm not proper for a member to call to move the question. You okay with that? Though? I'm fine with that as long as if the chair chooses to move that question, that's the only issue, the vote on to moving the question. It doesn't just If open she chooses, up. that's correct. Uh, yeah, I agree. Fine. We're in agreement. All right. I think that Violent agreement. I think <laughs> that was a long way to get to that agreement, but I, I do think that there are times that we've moved the question that it has been damaging and used inappropriately. I like a better sense of order that the chair will look to move the question. Mm -hmm. All right, and you agree to yield mm -hmm. when that is done. All right. Every time you muzzled I me, I've yielded, haven't okay. I? Okay, <laughs> I'm going to muzzle everybody right now. <laughs> a short break.